Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take a few minutes and talk about my new Redverse Atacama tent. Just a week or so ago, I did a, a review on my solo tent that I've used all of last year. Right after that, I purchased this one, and, and now I want to go through it and take, take a look at it. So the first thing I'll tell you that they really improved the stuff sack. So the stuff sack on the solo tent has a drawstring type and the openings in, in the side, and, and it never worked for me. But this one clearly comes in a, a much more robust stuff sack, and I really like it. So, that being said, I'm going to take it out, set it up, and, and see what it got. All right, stay tuned. All right, so that was the first time taking it out of the package. The way they have it set up is different than the way I'll roll it. So everything was different and it took me 10 minutes to set it up. And I did make one mistake over here. I uh, actually put it in the wrong grommet, which is no big deal. So this one compared to my solo actually sets up with only four stakes in the ground. So you've got one on each corner and they label this the wind side. So I anchor that one first, that's the sleep side, and then pull it this way. And then it anchors with four more, for two more pegs, a total of four pegs. So it, it's not freestanding. I'm not trying to say that it is, but it actually stands up and, and on my solo tent, I have slept in it just like this every single night. I've never put out a guy line, so keep that in mind. Um, it does look big. I mean, it seems really big, but uh, I think it's what I wanted. So we're gonna just see how big it is compared to my solo. Hang tight. So that's one of the biggest adventure bikes on the market and it fits in here just fine it actually goes in real easy i got a little crooked this time but it's okay um, the garage space on this one is the same as the garage space on my solo tent and and i was very happy with that uh, everything in here looks the same i don't see anything different i i, I did want a hook inside here for my flashlight uh, there was one yes I see there's one here but eh, you know maybe next go around right but so the garage space is big with the bike in it plenty of room this is why I bought this tent the sleeping area this is a Nemo Cosmo extra wide long pad it's 80 inches long and 30 inches wide. It's one of the biggest pads out there. I still have room for my chair, my table, all my gear. So if I have to huddle up inside the tent out of the elements for a day or you know an extended period of time, a few hours, whatever the case may be, I've got plenty of room. Still have my bike in here. So plenty of room. Uh, I do like the two doors. You know, I think I would close this one off if, if I was going to sleep on this side. Close this one off and then use this one to go in and out. Or maybe the, the back door back there. So that's my thought. But this is really why I love this tent. Um, in your hanging out. When you're hanging out just doing nothing. You know, before you're going to bed. You can relax in this part of your tent. Everything's mosquito proof, bug proof. 
We do have another spot for a flashlight down there and another one up there. If we had one more in the garage part, man, I'd be happy. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Pouch on both sides like this. Put your, you know, flashlight or, you know, cell phone, something. I've got my little table I can cook in here if I need to. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be, gonna be nice, it's big. They call this the bathtub floor. I did opt to buy the, uh, I have the ground sheets for this. And the ground sheet for the garage is the same as my solo, so I do have that. So before I pack this up, I'll put the ground sheet on it. But uh, yeah, like I said, as you can tell, I got the bike crooked in there this time. But typically um, I shut up the front and I open the back and I use my awning kit out back uh, when I camp. This box contains all of my, my food and my cookware. So I would cook right out back and that's what I do. So now let's take a few measurements and see how big this is compared to my other one. All right, stick around. So my solo tent, uh, I have that thing measured in at 13 feet, which is right here. So on this one, I'm gonna call it 17 feet. So it's four feet longer. Um, and that's all on, on this end. So it's four feet, so it's 17 feet long. So it, it is big when you set it up. But if you're gonna spend some time in a tent, Man, I don't know that there's a better tent out there. Um, all the pockets hide the guy line so you can leave them put up in there. And like I said, I've slept in this many nights in my solo and never used it. So I don't see a reason to use it here. If you can tell, it, uh, it's set up good. No issues.